Everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to Mike Talks on Cinnamon Roll Day, as we like to refer to all of our Fridays. It's just the thing we do. If you've not been around for Mike Talks, it's kind of that insight into my life. My day off every week is Friday. Sermon's resting. I'm resting. Hopefully we'll get uh, get a good uh, engagement uh, in the Word on Sunday. And uh, once again, I want to thank you guys for your prayers for Israel. As I've shared uh, in recent days, he's gotten better to the point that we thought he was going to be released on um, Wednesday from the hospital. But because he's doing so much better, the doctors have decided to go ahead and remove one of his kidneys. Sounds like a major deal. They're saying it's not a major deal and that he should recover very quickly. But part of the problem, I think, uh, that they're indicating um, with with his fevers and his high blood pressure and stuff is this kidney that's kind of functioning but kind of getting in the way. Later on, he's gonna to have to have a kidney transplant for the other kidney, but they wanna get rid of this one at this point. So once again, would you pray for Israel? We're here in Cincinnati with Mikey and Monica just to encourage them and, and to love them. And uh, so I pray that you will uh, join me in prayer for Israel. We're continuing today in uh, the Beatitudes, uh, from the Latin word beati, which means blessed or happy. And uh, these statements that Jesus starts at the beginning of his Sermon on the Mount, happy are you or blessed are you. Remember, happy is probably um, not, a, not a strong enough word because happy is an emotion that comes and goes. These are really words that are blessings. God says you will be blessed. I will give you contentment and peace and a state of tranquility if you are these things. And we come today to verse 8, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. All through Jesus' teaching, he says that the heart is the center of everything. In Matthew chapter 15, he'll later teach us that out of the heart come all these things, come evil thoughts and murders and adulteries. In fact, in his teaching on the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, um, to follow the commandments, so an outward following of the law, like we said uh, the other day, uh, is not enough. It's the heart that God is after. So Jesus would say it's not enough not to commit adultery. What we're going for is a heart that doesn't lust. It's not enough to not commit murder. What we're going for is a heart that doesn't hate his brother. It's not enough uh, to do all the things that God commanded in the Old Testament. That's what the Pharisees and Sadducees did. And um, he's going for the heart. Blessed are the pure in heart. Later, Jesus would say in, in Matthew uh, chapter 12, he also teaches, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So there's, there's this, this inside of us that is really who we are, that God is after. And God um, brings purity of heart in two ways. Number one, he purifies our heart through the grace of Jesus Christ by his blood on the cross. Let's just get this straight. Um, your heart will never be pure without God acting on it. And so, uh, first and foremost, God has to send his son Jesus to make our hearts pure so that his spirit can live in us and continue to purify our hearts. What does it mean to be pure in heart? To be pure in heart simply means that you are focused, you have a singular focus in your heart that it's, it's not contaminated. If you have something that's pure gold, it's gold only. It's not contaminated with other things. So a pure heart is less and less contaminants all the time. There are less wrong motives. There are less wrong words. There are less um, wrong ideas and thoughts. And, and that's a process. God has made us pure in heart through Jesus Christ and the forgiveness we have in him. And we are in the process of being made pure day by day by day as the Spirit works in our lives. The pure in heart, Jesus says, are blessed because they will see God. That's the goal. The goal is that we get to see God someday face to face. And um, pure of heart comes because of His grace through Jesus Christ and our faith in Him to continue to purify so that what comes out of our hearts and what out of our mouths and out of our actions are from a deep inside place that is singular focused on Jesus Christ 
That's what it means to be pure in heart. Don't walk away from the day and go, I'm going to try to eliminate all the bad stuff in my heart. Yes, that's, that's what you cooperate with as the Holy Spirit works in your life. But pure of heart is faith in Jesus Christ. That one thing. That's what we're after. God bless you guys. See you tomorrow.